Hey guys, welcome to the Games Practice channel. My name is Rochelle and today we're playing Hunger Games Simulator using Life is Strange characters. So you know how much I is so Life is Strange based. And I have set up some photos of Life is Strange characters. I'll go through them. If you don't know what this uh, website is about, it's basically Hunger Games where people are put into 12 different teams or districts. They are in pairs and they have to fight to survive. So this in this website, you can simulate the game and you can use any characters you want. And they will just run through a list of events that happens, killings, survivals, blah blah blah. So okay, so I'll go through all the Life is Strange characters in the districts I've put in. So in District 1, we have Max Caulfield and Chloe Price. This is true, Mark Jefferson and drugs. Because drugs is not a real thing, but I thought it would be funny to put drugs in. Okay, District 3, Victoria and Nathan. District 4, Frank and his beans. Yep, I'm not going to include Pompadour in this one because beans are so much more funnier. Um, Joyce and David Madsen. Uh, District 6, Kate Marsh and her rabbit, Alice. District 7, Taylor and Courtney. And District 8, we have Warren and Brooke. Because I'm not putting Warren with uh, Max. Because Chloe must be with Max. Uh, Sean Prescott and Cash. Because he's rich. Right? Yeah. District 10, Principal Wells and Samuel. District 11. I put Lister the plant and um, Rachel Amber. I don't know who to put Rachel with, so... I just put her with Lisa, the plant. You know? And a special guest... District 12, Mari and Stacy from Gate Remix because we had to put one team that is not really a Life is Strange character but guess has something to do with Life is Strange. So anyway, let's. Um, I'll be narrating all the events so let's see how this goes. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna emerge victorious from life? the Life is Hunger Games? Life is... Hunger is Strange. Yeah, Hunger is Strange, whatever. Let's start. Okay, all as the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Chloe finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Joyce runs away with a lighter and some rope. Max runs away with... Max runs away from the cornucopia. Taylor runs away from the cornucopia. This is the area where they start off from. Principal Wells snaps a <laughs> drug snack. <laughs> what? Principal Wells? You already started? <laughs> so his drugs dead? <laughs> Wow, good job, Principal Wells. This is a very responsible principal. <laughs> Frank's beans clutches a first aid kit and runs away. <laughs> Can you imagine a can of beans running away? Sean Prescott runs away from the cornucopia. David runs away from the cornucopia. Warren runs away. Alice runs away with a lighter and some ropes. Rachel... <laughs> oh my god. Rachel and Jefferson work together to drown Samuel. <laughs> what? They're not even in the same team. Um... Courtney clutches her first aid kit and runs away. Brooke scares Lisa away from the cornucopia. Uh, Cash runs away. Oh my god. Mari and Stacy <laughs> work together to drown Victoria. <laughs> oh, Mari. Stacy. <laughs> really hate her, don't you? Kate runs away from the cornucopia. Frank runs away from the cornucopia. Nathan. Oh my god. Nathan cannot handle the circumstances and commits suicide. That's so sad, but oh my god. Wow, this just started off really <laughs> interestingly. Okay, here we go. Day 1. Principal Wells hunts for other tributes. Wow, Principal Wells really has his game on. Helicash collects fruits from a tree. Sean Prescott picks flowers. Wow. Taylor runs away from Rook. Kate camouflages herself in the bushes. Good thinking, Kate. Max travels to higher ground. Bring Chloe with you. Are you going to the lighthouse? Max is going to the lighthouse. Alice chases Rachel. Oh, that's so cute. Um, Courtney sprains her ankle while running away from Joyce. <laughs> Frank sprains his ankle while running away from Warren. Murray diverts Lisa's attention and runs away. Uh, Chloe tries to spear fish with a trident. Uh, Jefferson receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Mm -hmm. Stacy tries to spear a fish with a trident. Well, Chloe and Stacy are parallel. <laughs> Good job. Makes sense. Frank, sp 
Francis Beans injures himself. David searches for firewood. Okay, so all the people who died. Oh my god, <laughs> Victoria and Ethan died already. Was that so sad? So, okay, Drugs is dead. Samuel is dead. Principal Wells kills Drugs. Um, some, I can't remember. Um, Victoria, oh, Jefferson and Rachel killed Samuel. And Mari and Stacy killed Victoria. Nathan committed suicide, probably because Victoria is dead. Next, night one. <gasps> Frank Sabine cooks his food before putting his fire out. <laughs> oh, Mari dies from the infection. That's what you get for killing Victoria. Um, Max, Stacy, and Frank cheerfully sing songs together. Ah, uh, they are a team now, I guess. Oh, <laughs> Chloe is also singing, but she's humming. Um, Alice and <laughs> Alice and Principal Wells huddle for warmth. <laughs> Courtney and Taylor sleep. Courtney and Taylor sleep sleep in shifts. Kate destroys David's supplies while he is asleep. Good job, Kate. Brooke thinks about winning. <laughs> that makes sense. Lisa sees a fire but stays hidden. Yeah, Lisa, you should stay away from that. You'll catch on fire so fast. Warren begs for Sean Prescott to kill him. He refuses, keeping Warren alive. Joyce stabs Rachel in the back with a trident. <laughs> oh, Joyce, why? Chloe will be so upset. <laughs> Jefferson destroys Hella Cash's supplies while he's asleep. Okay, day two. Brooke collects fruit from a tree. Hella Cash receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Chloe kills Lisa with her own weapon. Joyce constructs a shack. Stacy stabs Taylor in the back with a trident. Oh, Stacy, why? Taylor's cool. David scares Frank off. Yep, that makes sense. Frank's beans discover a river. Principal Wells searches for firewood. Max constructs a shack. Warren discovers a river. Sean, Jefferson, Chloe, Alice, and Kate hunt for other tributes. Ooh, these guys are on their game. A swarm of checker jackers invade the arena. Brooke and Chloe run out of places to run and are stung. Oh, stung to death! No, Chloe, why do you have to die so early? Alice knocks Jefferson unconscious and he's in there as bait. <laughs> nice, Alice! Alice is the new hero of Life is Strange. David Madsen, you got nothing! Joyce is stung to death. Oh, R.I.P. Joyce. Died on the same day as her daughter. Sean Prescott slowly dies from Checker Jacker's toxin. Oh my god, so many people are dying today. While running away from Tracker Jacker's princip Principal Wells grabs Max and throws her to the ground. Hella Cash is stung to death. Warren knocks Kate unconscious and leaves her there as bait. Are you with Jefferson on this, Warren? Stacy and Courtney run out of places to run and are stung to death. No, Stacy! Stacy and Mario are dead already. Frank's beans knocks David unconscious and leaves him there as bait. Frank is stunned to death. No, Frank. Oh my god. Oh, so many people died. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not going well. 16 cannons are shot and heard in the distance. Mari's dead. Rachel's dead. Lisa's dead. Taylor's dead. Brooke's dead. Chloe's dead. Jefferson's dead. Joyce is dead. Sean is dead. Max, Hello Cash, Kate, Stacy, Courtney, David, Frank. Oh no. Who's left? Um, Warren, Alice, and Principal Wells get into a fight. Principal Wells triumphantly kills them both. Oh my god. Principal Wells is really on his game. Is he gonna win? Frank just beans accidentally steps on a mine. <sighs> the winner is Principal Wells! Really? <sighs> that was so fast. Usually this lasts much longer. Okay, let's see. Wow, Principal Wells killed four people. Um, second place. Frank's Beans, wow. Not even the main characters are in the first three. Alice the Rabbit, yay Alice. Warren, Frank, uh, who's at the bottom? <laughs> Drugs. Uh, Mari, and the Stacy Stacey end up quite high. Okay, that was fun. Okay, I'm not really satisfied with how that ended, and it was pretty quick, so let's try that again. I don't think I want to change anything, um, so let's go see how this time it goes on. So, um, as the tributes stand on the podiums, the horn sounds, 
Brooke breaks Frank's nose for a basket of bread. <laughs> oh, badass Brooke. David runs away from the cornucopia. Mari runs away. Chloe runs away. Frank's beans runs away. Drugs and Stacy's <laughs> Drugs and Stacy fight for a bag. Stacy gives up and retreats. <laughs> Victoria runs away. Uh, Heather Cash runs away. Joyce runs away. Samuel snatches a ball of alcohol and a rag. Oh, what are you gonna do with that, Samuel? Clean the school. Rachel snatches a pair of sais. Oh, sais. Uh, those Japanese uh, daggers. Um, Alice runs away. Courtney, Warren, and Kate start fighting. But Warren runs away as Chloe. Co <laughs> Sorry, Courtney. Warren runs away as Courtney kills Kate. Warren, how could you do that? I thought you were like the guardian angel. Oh, I hope Kate's ready to bed. Um, Taylor scares this away. Uh, Principal Wells breaks Nathan's nose for a basket of food. Well, for once, Principal Wells will be daring to stand up to him. Uh, Jefferson runs away. Max grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. John Prescott runs away. So, Kate is it. Okay, day one. Principal Wells sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Uh, Max reaches a Max receives a hatchet from an unknown quantum. Mari is unable to convince Nathan not to kill her. Oh, does it mean that Nathan kills Mari? Uh, Sean Prescott, Lisa, and Courtney unsuccessfully ambush Rachel, Warren, and Brooke, who kill them instead. Oh. Um. Stacy explores the arena. The cat explores. David picks flowers. <laughs> Joyce travels to higher ground. Chloe injures herself. Oh no, Chloe, what have you done? Did you shoot yourself again? Samuel collects fruit from a tree. Victoria overhears Frank, Beans, and <laughs> Jefferson talking in the distance. Uh, Victoria is jealous. The drugs scare Taylor off. Uh, drugs would scare me off too. Alice defeats Frank's <laughs> in a fight, but spares his life. Uh, I hope this. Oh, oh my people are dead already. Five cannon shots from her in the distance. Kate's dead. Mari is dead again. Sean Prescott is dead. Lisa is dead. Courtney is dead. Oh, Mari, why do you keep dying so quickly? Warren is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Well, that's, that's what you get for leaving Kate to die. Stacy's trap kills Chloe. Stacy, why? Out of all people. Oh, Victoria goes to sleep. Brooke is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. In the same situation as Warren, makes sense. Jefferson goes to sleep peacefully. Uh, ja Frank's beans passes out for the smash. <laughs> oh, this empty can of beans. Principal Wells, Hello Cash, and Nathan cheerfully sings. <laughs> After you broke his nose. Uh, um, drugs, Alice, and Max <laughs> cheerfully so. Oh, Alice and Max are high on drugs. Joyce receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Rachel shoots an arrow into Frank's head. <laughs> Rachel, you killed your lover. Taylor looks at the night sky. David screams for help. Samuel thinks about winning. Oh my god, they say Samuel's gonna win. Um, Principal Wells diverts David's attention and runs away. Rachel tries to spear a fish of a trident. Brooke discovers a river. Mm. Jefferson defeats War in a fight but spares his life because Jefferson only kills girls and Nathans. Victoria tries to sleep through the entire day. Victoria not doing much. Frank's beans makes a wooden spear. Stacy questions her sanity. Yeah, of course you killed Chloe. I will question my sanity too if you killed someone who is like so like someone who is like really like you. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna commit suicide. St Samuel discovers a cave. Nathan thinks about home. Why? Drugs, <laughs> drugs scares Hello Cash off. Max begs for Alice. Max, Max begs for Alice to kill her. She refuses, keeping Max alive. Joyce fishes. Taylor thinks about home. Oh, Chloe and Frank is dead. Ah, uh, Stacy. Why did you kill him, Stacy? <laughs> drugs let Stacy into his shelter. Oh my God. Samuel attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. David receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. <laughs> Victoria convinces Principal Wells to snuggle with her. Oh my god, Victoria, you're such a slut. 
Jefferson defeats Max in a fight but spares her life. Ironic. Taylor tries to sing herself to sleep, singing Taylor's songs. Rachel attacks Hellcash, but Warren protects him, killing Rachel. Warren killed Rachel over money. Warren is such a, is such a sinister person. Frank's bean screams for help. Um, Alice, Joyce, and Nathan cheerfully sing a song together. Alice is always good. Uh, Brooke tries to sing herself to sleep. Day three. Stacy overhears Joyce and Nathan talking in the distance. Frank's beans begs for Victoria to kill him. She refuses, keeping Frank's beans alive. Hmm. You could have eaten him, Victoria. Samuel receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Taylor convinces David to not kill her, only to kill him instead. What? So Taylor killed David. Warren discovers the river. Drugs tries to sleep through the entire day. Brooke throws a knife into Alice's head. Oh my god, Brooke! Principal Wells chases Hellcat. <laughs> Money minded. Max tends to Jefferson's room. What is Max having? Max is having Stockholm Syndrome because they, um, Jefferson decided to spare her life. And Rachel's dead, David's dead, Alice is dead. Night 3. No, oh, Night 3. Jefferson and. Jefferson unknowingly eats a toxic berry. Ha! He's dead. Brooke looks at the night sky. Hellcash goes to sleep. Drops Stacy and Max cheerfully sings a song. At least Stacy's feeling better. Taylor lets Nathan into her shelter. <laughs> Victoria destroys Warren's supplies while he's asleep. Good for you. Frank, Samuel, Frank, Beans, Principal Wells, and Joy sleeps in shift. Okay, they're working together. Taylor searches for water source. Drugs bashes Victoria's head with a mace. <laughs> oh my god. Hello Cash, Principal Wells, Nathan Joyce book, hunt for other tributes. Max is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Stacy attacks Warren but he manages to escape. Oh, when is Warren gonna die? He's so evil. Samuel col Samuel collects fruit from a tree. Frank Beans explores the arena. And Jefferson and Victoria is dead. Night 4. Taylor cooks her food before putting the fire out. Nathan, Helica, Samuel, Stacy, and Joyce track down and kill Frank's beans. Wow, it's such a team. All to kill a can of beans. Max, Drugs, Brooke, and Warren tell each other ghost stories to lighten the beans. With drugs, of course. Um, Principal Wells tries to, tries to sing himself to sleep. Nathan tries to sleep through the entire day. Stacy travels to higher ground. Taylor scares Max off. Warren overhears Samuel and Joyce talking in the distance. Warren is such a nosy parker. Um, Brooke receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Ooh. Hello Cash overhears drugs and principal when I was talking in the distance. <laughs> now Cash is jealous. R.I.P. Frank's beans. Um, principal Wells tries to treat his infection. Samuel, Nathan, Max and Hello Cash sleep in shifts. Drugs and Warren tell stories about themselves to each other. Stacy and Brooke hold hands. Okay, a new ship. Stacy and Brooke. Taylor begs for Joyce to kill her. She refuses, keeping Taylor alive. Day 6. Taylor defeats Principal Wells in the fight but spares his life. Max falls into a pit and dies. No, Max. What a way to go. Samuel hunts for other tributes. Brooke and Hella Cash split up and search for resources. Warren runs away from drugs. For once you're doing something right. Stacy accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Oh my god, Stacy. Uh, Nathan steals from Joyce while she isn't looking. Oh, RIP Max and Stacy. Oh no. This never ends well for our main characters. Principal Wells attempt to climb a tree, but falls on drugs, killing them both. Ouch. <laughs> This is what you get. Hella, hella cash planned it all out. Joyce dies from hypothermia. No. Warren tracks down and kills Samuel. Warren! Oh my god, don't tell me Warren's gonna win. Brooke and Hella Cash sleep in shifts. Nathan sets up camp for the night. Taylor goes to sleep. Uh, the, the cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the fallen tributes. Okay. From the tributes families. 
Nathan broke Hella Cash and more and tracked down and killed Taylor. Okay, so we only have like a few people left. I hope Nathan wins. Warren should win. Um, Warren receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Nathan fishes. Brooks searches for firewood. Hella Cash accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. R.I.P. Cash. Ooh. Six shots heard from the distance. R.I.P. Principal Wells, Phelps, Joyce, Samuel, Taylor, Hella Cash. Brooke, Nathan, and Warren start fighting, but Nathan runs away as Brooke kills Warren. Yay, Warren's dead. Oh no! Brooke's trap kills Nathan. Oh, I want to Nathan to win. R.I.P. Nathan and Warren. The winner is Brooke. Oh, what a twist. Okay, that was pretty fun. So first round, Principal Wells won and Brooke won. I was hoping like either you get cream mix or Chloe and Max win or something. Well, that was pretty fun <laughs> to do. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this simulation of Hunger Games using Life is Strange characters that I've done. I put it in the pictures too, so it's more funnier. Um, yeah, and please, it would help me a lot if you guys um, leave a like and share my channel and videos if you like it. Subscribe if you like it, it will help me a lot. I will always continue to produce more content because I really love doing YouTube. It's make me feel more purposeful. I like connecting with you guys. And I hope to do more streams actually, but I've had not much time and due to living arrangements, it's been hard. And I'm really in trying to invest in um, doing wealth in YouTube. So I really appreciate your support in this. So. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off now, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See yous! She did not have any weapons and I just stabbed the defenseless raider. Cause they're all evil.